Good morning, Unity. Let's consider Psalm chapter 3 together this morning. King David wrote this psalm when he fled from his son Absalom, who had been rebellious and created a conspiracy against his father and the throne. Um, Absalom worked so hard at this to turn the heart of the men of Israel to him away from his father David. Uh, he was successful. His numbers increased and the conspiracy grew until a messenger came to King David and told him that the hearts of the men of Israel had turned to Absalom. So David took some faithful followers and fled to the wilderness and um, it got worse. He, he learned that his generals had forsaken him and deserted him. He learned that his counselor was involved in the conspiracy and uh, uh, he was broken and bitter as he wrote these words. The scripture says in Psalm chapter 3, verse 1, 2, and 3, Lord, how they have increased who trouble me. Lots of enemies. They increase. Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say of me there is no help from God. That was their claim, that no help was coming. The Lord had also deserted him. Selah. But then I love verse 3. It says, But you, O Lord, are a shield for me. You're, you're the one who protects me above and below, in front and behind, inside and out, to the right and to the left. You are my defense. Um, see, he complained in verses 1 and 2, but this is his confidence. The Lord is his shield. He says, You're my glory. You're the one that will bring honor when all of these shame me. And then uh, my favorite part of the verse is, when he says, Lord, you are the one who lifts up my head. You're the lifter of my head. So Charles Spurgeon also wrote this, that when we're shamed, the Lord lifts us to honor. When we're sick, the Lord lifts us to health. When we're in sorrow, the Lord lifts us to gladness. When we fall in, the Lord lifts us to restoration. When we've been temporarily defeated, the Lord lifts up our head to victory. In all of these things, the Lord is the one who lifts our head. I say amen to that. And I say to the church, let's seek the Lord, honor the Lord, please the Lord, live for the Lord, because he is the one who is the lifter of our heads. Give him praise today. I love you, church.